Good morning. You listen to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. This morning, my guest is Michelle Vermette and Bill Story, both with Mohawk. Michelle, you're the president of the Mohawk Group, the commercial division of Mohawk, and Bill Story, you're senior vice president of Care, staying in the residential side. Good morning. Good morning, Kemp. Good morning, Kemp. I wanted to talk to you because yesterday you had an expansion announcement and a press event in Eden, North Carolina, right on the Virginia-North Carolina line. We'll get into the details on that in just a minute. Before we get into that, though, let's talk just real quickly. This news is all around Karistan, and I think it'd be interesting to remind our listeners a little bit of the history of Karistan. Karistan got started there in that little sleepy area of North Carolina, Virginia, is a, a mill town, part of that field crest where they were making terry cloth towels and and 1928 marshall fields started making woven wool rugs is that right Kemp, uh, that is correct it did start in 1928 with marshall fields he actually built that facility to make machine made rugs because at that time it was really handmade rugs so karistan was founded in what was called leaksville north carolina it became eden north carolina in 1928 and that really is the history and how Karistan all came to be. Yeah, now one of the things I'd like to point out is that back in those days, that was before synthetic fibers. See, these were wool rugs. They were woven, and it's important to point out that a a woven rug, much different than a tufted rug. Let's talk about that brand for a second. Karistan is well known as kind of the state of quality in the rug market, and it's because of the performance of these rugs. It won its first accolades when they made a wonder rug and they put it on the ground and in the World's Fair of Chicago in the 30s, 5 million people walked on it and it came clean. So it was one of the first torture tests. And if we fast forward, Mohawk became the owner of this wonderful manufacturing operation in 93 as part of the Karistan Bigelow acquisition, right? It was 1993 that Mohawk purchased Karistan. Woven Broadloom was introduced into that facility, I believe it was in the late 30s, early 40s. So mm-hmm. Broadloom is an integral part of that as well, high-end woven residential Broadloom. And with these new plants, it's really going to allow us opportunities for expansion on both residential and on the commercial side, which I know Michelle can speak to. Yeah, so let's let's get into that. It's an $8 million investment that you just announced. You did have the governor of North Carolina there yesterday, so that tells me that they're excited as well. But, you know, $8 million, in when you're talking about a Mohawk, with its last acquisition of IVC, you're close to a $9 billion company. It almost sounds like a rounding number, but this is still an important investment. So why don't you talk about what that means to the business? What it is for us, Cap, is trying to create the center of excellence for weaving. You know, we were a little bit spread out among three operations, and what we're doing is putting some new state-of-the-art van wheel equipment in this facility, and really what you will have now, design capabilities you'll have, as Bill talked about, some really outstanding craftsmanship from the team of how to leverage the capabilities of, of the team. And with this new equipment and the consolidation of the activities, it'll allow us to really build that platform up and, and, and leverage that technology. If you look at what you have is you have the top of the pyramid in our rug division and our residential care stand business and now it's the same thing for our commercial division where we'll make our aviation carpet there and also our high end care stand woven carpets for commercial there. So it's really truly the center of excellence and it's a testimony to the the, the capability of the, of the team there. You know, actually, when we were setting up this interview, I was surprised, Michelle, that you were going to be on it. And I think that's probably the the biggest part of the news because most people have for a long time associated this Eden facility with residential broadloom woven carpet and with rugs. You know, here you are the president of, of Mohawk's commercial division involved. So where do we see woven carpets being used in the commercial business? Well, you see it in major state houses, you see it in marquee spaces, you see it in attorney offices, you see it in higher ed, you definitely see it in airports, wherever there's a need for durable, long-lasting application. And also, there's just some visuals that you cannot attain with tufted that you can only get in woven go through. And definitely, when you think of aviation, the durability and the lightweight characteristics of it 
is uh, second to none, and that's why we, we're really the leader in aviation by far, both nationally and globally. That's probably newsworthy, noteworthy. I want to pull that out for a minute. Many people might not know that Mohawk is a producer of the carpets that are used in airplanes, right? Yes, if you think of just about any major airline brand in the country or some of the top brands in the world, uh, whenever you, you walk through that airplane, it, it's a Mohawk carpet. And the reason it's woven so it lasts, but it's wool, and so the self-extinguishing properties of wool is the reason they use it, right? Well, no, in our case, it's actually nylon, and this is technology that we have put forward where we have unique fire resistance uh, characteristics that we've developed out there. Really what they like is it's so light. It allows them to save so much fuel. You think every ounce we can take out for them Mm -hmm. is sometimes millions of dollars for certain carriers a year as we can make this long-lasting woven carpet and give them multiple cycles compared to other application. So it gives them both the great wear performance, but also the great aesthetics that come with it. So in the commercial business, many people thought that most woven products that were used were imported. And so these are made right here in this country, right? Yeah, good old made in America, which was a nice thing to say. Yeah. And Bill, we'll talk about what this means to the residential piece of the business. Well, Kemp, we now have the premier weaving facility in North America. Mm-hmm. So with uh, this expansion, what it's going to allow on the uh, care stand residential is some new equipment that we didn't have before, some mm-hmm. equipment that will give us some different looks and styling that we couldn't get before, and some more options, frankly, uh, from the yarn side. Uh, we're predominantly wool there, but as Michelle mentioned, there's going to be nylon introduced into the facility. That will give us some options from a fiber standpoint as well. So we're extremely excited. It's really about the people and the craftsmanship at uh, that facility. And not to sound like the Eden Chamber of Commerce, but what will this mean from a jobs perspective and a total physical plant? Give me some details about what it does exactly in Eden. For the local economy camp, it basically means about a little over 100 jobs will be created there in the combination of leadership folks that will have opportunities, design, and also manufacturing uh, workers. And like I said, we're putting about $8 million worth of weaving equipment into the facility. We're also investing in new coding capabilities there. And then, you know, I think as we develop this first phase, I think we'll see some other opportunities that we'll capitalize on for the long term. I think it's very good for the existing employees and definitely uh, great also for the new opportunities created uh, for people out there. We're also putting significant new products in care standing commercial this year. We're launching about 30 new products, half of those in, in the woven category. So we believe that as the economy is coming back, people want better goods. So there's a series of new products also coming in in this. So that there's a lot of excitement coming with that. We've gotten great reception and won actually some awards with some of these new introductions. So we're looking forward to see how well these do uh, over time. So at this Eden facility, you're going to have three Mohawk divisions vying for this capacity. As things grow, how are you going to sort through all that? It's a close collaboration. I mean, this was a very highly collaborative process, how we worked through this, both the residential piece of business, the rug piece of business, and the commercial piece of business. Mm -hmm. And it's also different equipment, different weaving equipment for different setups. So that won't be a problem. And as you know, at Mohawk, if we have the opportunity to have the demand and customer want it, we'll we'll be happy to provide the capacity to supply. We'll be happy to do that. All right, great. It was good to talk to you guys. Congratulations on your news in Eden, North Carolina, that you're spending $8 million to expand that facility. Again, been talking to Michelle Vermette, president of Mohawk Commercial, and with Bill Story, senior vice president of Karistan Residential, and you've been listening to Kempar and FloridaLA.net.